Hi, a very good evening to all of you. Today we are going to discuss a previous question which was asked uh, in the May 20, the month of May 2021. Some countries have introduced laws to limit working hours for employees. Why are these laws introduced? Do you think they are positive or negative developments? So this is actually uh, a, a situation. We need to analyze the situation and we need to critically analyze the situation. Okay, so why these laws are introduced? A critical assessment is needed based on some factual circumstances. And logically we need to state whether this is a positive or negative development. So this question, we have high, we call it hybrid questions because we have two types of questions there. The first one is, why are these laws introduced? I have to analyze it critically and I have to give a factual answer, which is agreeable to all. If I say that there should be a rational behind the reason and I have to say, so if I say uh, to a group of 100 people, 99% of them should agree to me. So such a reason I have to present. So I cannot present my own opinion, personal reason. It is not personal reason I have to present for this particular question, why are these laws introduced? And now, based on that particular reason, which I have presented, based on that particular reasons, you need to analyze and say, what will be the consequence if these laws are implemented? So it's effect on various sectors of the society. So we are not specifically saying uh, this uh, gives uh, positive to this section of the society, not to this section of the society, it may be negative for them. So I need to analyze critically what is the, what are the positive things, what are the negative things? And then I have to say, this is not actually a personal opinion question. So we need to critically analyze the question situation. It's, it's, we need to have some sorts of knowledge there, some sorts of basic information about this regarding the situation. It's not a complex situation actually. We have the ability to think so Let's see how we can address this particular question. Legislations are being implemented by certain countries in order to limit the duration of work of an employee. Now, legislations means laws. You can say laws, legislations are being implemented, introduced by certain countries, some countries, in order to limit the duration, limit working hours of employees. Okay, it is there in this part. So every part of the statement is addressed in a different manner. Topic is addressed and it becomes the topic, it, it, it becomes the first sentence of the essay. The second thing, is your thesis, your answer for the question. There are two questions here. Why are these laws introduced? There might be two main reasons behind this. And it appears to be positive in more, most instances. Two main reasons behind this. And they said, might be, why well, it said might be, it's not, it's not a confirmative reason. So we are giving a tentative reason. 
this this may be the reason why the states are implementing such laws and it appears to be i'm not telling it's firmly it is positive it fetches positive results it appears to be positive in most instances i have a lax view here i don't have a strong view here but i am not using any personal pronouns like i we me my all these things are avoided even you can find do you think they are positive i said it appears to be so i have not given my personal view there a general view there so as far as this is not a personal viewpoint question as we are assessing these things uh, in a general perspective based on some factual information we are giving it the thesis in this manner now the reasons two main reasons the first reason what is the first reason the cardinal reason which persuade some governments states to adopt these kinds of legal procedures laws is to improve the overall productivity so the point is stated there and is explained in the second sentence to be precise when an employee has less exhausting work schedules both his intellectual and physical capacity can be concentrated at his work even in the most demanding situation even if he has a tough work atmosphere his job is very complex even in that case if his duration is less he can concentrate more at his work both emotionally intellectually and physically another tentative reason behind this is that it can solve the rate of unemployment to a significant extent this is the second reason the rate of unemployment why governments are doing this thing the first reason is that overall productivity it can increase why governments are doing this the second reason is it can reduce the unemployment rate for example temporary reservations can be created which can engage a large proportion of aspiring job seekers which can eventually equip them for promising jobs later so this is the explanation you can equip reservations uh, you can create reservations for some temporary workers some contract workers and you can keep the employment sector moving on running with some of the assistants and by the same time we can train them to experienced staff later so this is one so it can reduce unemployment rate to it they will be getting in case they will be getting some wages there but not as per the as same as the permanent workers there when analyzing the positive results of from the state's perspective okay we are going to see the positive results from the state perspective from the government's perspective it decreases the financial liability and increases the rate of gdp this is the positive results for the government they can create more working hours and employ more number of employees without much challenge and the second you are you have looked at from the government's perspective you are looking from the employees perspective right now it gives them much relaxed work atmosphere and it gives them opportunity to have a good work and personal life balance they can spend enough time with their family and friends there for an employer to it acts positive it avoids toxic work situations for an employer those who employ those who uh, are entrepreneurs or organization heads they are very much stressed because there will be disputes in between the employees or the employees and the supervisors or managers these types of toxic work 
atmosphere can be managed to a great extent. When they are working in a very relaxed atmosphere, these types of instances can be kept the minimum. So this is what the third instance is. Now we have an opposite view here. Critics point that this steals the opportunities employees to earn better during their short span of productive time. And they do have a short span of productive time. And this opportunity is stolen by the governments. And they point example, when an employee is restricted to work only for 100 hours a month, he would not he would not only earn less, the earning will be less, but also become lazy. So a sort of uh, laziness will be uh, there with him. So two problems are there. The earning will be less and he developed laziness. So these are the criticisms. Now let's see the conclusion, the answer of the question in a brief manner. To conclude, it's clear that of the many reasons government have to implement such measures, the prominent is the overall development of the nation focusing on employee satisfaction. Focusing on employee satisfaction, the overall development, this is the motive of the government. Even though there are some disadvantages, from an overall perspective, it fetches more positive results. From a general perspective, we can definitely say it has more positive than negatives. It may have some negatives, but mostly it is positive. I hope this is clear to you. Just have a look at once again. We have two sentence introduction, four sentence first paragraph, another four sentence, no, five sentence a positive paragraph, two sentence negative paragraph, and two sentence conclusion. So it's organized uh, in such a way. So we have three body paragraphs and a small conclusion and a small introduction here. So that's it. Thank you. And that is the end of the session. Thank you.